friends, welcome to today's vlog. Today is Tuesday, it's actually my last full day in Toronto and I am off to London tomorrow. I actually cannot for the life of me believe it. Like I cannot wrap my head around this. Last time I was there I was 17. I have dreamt of going for the longest time and I cannot believe I'm going tomorrow. Like tomorrow. But I'm also very stressed. I think that's why I can't really believe it is because like I have a lot to accomplish before I can even like begin to process that I'm leaving tomorrow. Lots of work to get done. Lots of cleaning, laundry, like packing, picking my outfits. Gotta make some returns at the mall. So we're going there in like 30 minutes and then we're getting our lashes done which is really exciting. I haven't done anything to my lashes in forever. I did extensions for a while and I was just like, I'm not going there again. Like maybe, maybe one day, but we're just gonna do a lash lift. My mom and I are doing it together. It's gonna be so fun. That's why I'm wearing my glasses still. I can't, you know, have my contacts in while they do that. And then I'm gonna get my eyebrows waxed. I'm so excited about that because they are not looking good. You need to be close up to me <laughs> to see it, but when you do, not good. And then we are coming back here. My dishwasher, like my actual dishwasher is getting delivered today, which is awesome. Just don't know exactly when that is. My dad will be here in case we're out. And then I have a meeting with my management. And then I gotta get back to work, get editing done, get like everything done for while I'm gone so that I don't have to think about it. Uh, I don't know, I have to like make a, a full list here. This is just what's coming to the top of my mind. But obviously number one priority is to get my work done. Making a, my frozen omelets. They're actually very good. Thankfully it's a night flight tomorrow. So I think I leave at like 8 p.m. But I have to be there three hours in advance for like customs and stuff. So it's gonna be a day, but I will likely be waking up very, very early tomorrow just to get as much done as humanly possible. Um, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. It's gonna be a day. Mmm. has been made. I feel like I'm in my pajamas because I'm wearing my glasses and I got this fabric everywhere. Made the return. Obviously bought something else. I'll show you when we get home. I think it's a good a good purchase though. One that I've been need needing to make so we will see. Very nice. And we're home and it's zoomed in. The brows are clean. The lashes are lifted and someone's mowing the lawn out there right now. It's 3.43, I have my call. I'm meeting with my management in two minutes and then we are getting back to it. But very, very happy. This and this taken care of. My nails are done, like I'm 100% ready to go on this trip. Well, not 100%, <laughs> most definitely not. But like my my own personal things are completed. And so that's, that's very good. Oops. Just a dude blowing some leaves around. Very fun. So nice. My mom got hers tinted and they actually look like she has mascara on them. But I have one minute getting on this call and I will check in with you in just a little bit. Anyway. Okay, meeting is done. Now I've got to shoot some content and then Back to my editing station. Maybe I should eat at some point. That sounds like a, probably a good idea. Also unfortunate update, my dishwasher is not getting delivered today. It was supposed to, but they refused to just deliver it with my dad, even though he had my passport with him. We have the same last name. They were just like, sorry, we can't deliver it unless, you know, the purchaser is home. So now it's gonna get delivered tomorrow. So at least it'll be here. And then the plan is for when I'm gone, I should be gone for around two weeks. So we're hoping to have the entire rest of the house completely wrapped up for when I get home so that it's just a done deal. No more contractors, no more of anything. I just walk in to a finished home. I can't believe this railings. Actually, I'm very sad. The railings were supposed to go in last week. Now it's this week, but it's Tuesday. I have not heard anything from our contractor about timing. So I think it's gonna be a big surprise when I get home. I'm so sad. It was supposed to go in and I was so excited, but it is what it is. You know what? Like I'm used to this. I don't feel any kind of disappointment. Obviously I would prefer if they were here and in, but I'm, it's, it's 
fine. <laughs> I have been running around. Um, I was gonna get into the deep dark editing hole, but I decided instead of doing that, I was gonna take this time while it's still light outside to plan my outfits and like take pictures. That's what I like to do before I go on a trip. It's one of the ways that I like to keep organized when I'm away and traveling. I plan all of my outfits in advance. I lay them out on the floor and then I try them on and then I take pictures of them with, you know, me wearing it with all my accessories and everything. And I put that into a note. And then when I'm getting dressed in the morning, I have all of my outfits laid out. I can see everything that I have. It is the best way to pack ever. I want to show you guys what I got at Ritzia, but I also got home to a package from Abercrombie. They were so kind and sent me a couple more pieces for my trip. Okay, so the first thing I got like this little dress that I pictured wearing a cool jacket with, like maybe my leather jacket, I don't know. And like combat boots, like a cute little flowy dress. Very cute, love it. And then I saw my friend Tasha post about these on her Instagram. I'm not Instagram, it was on TikTok. These like trousers, like who do I think I am? Are apparently a dupe for the Aritzia Effortless Pant, which is like sold out, I guess. But these are the elevated wide trouser i think and i got them in the short and the size extra extra small they are stretchy just so you know i have to try these on i just feel like these fit the vibe and then we have the aritzia i realized i meant to return those cream pants and i forgot i just returned or exchanged the silk skirt that i didn't like i meant to return the pants too and i'm so sad i forgot hopefully i can still exchange them when i get back i got a coat. I really, really wanted to get a coat like this before my trip. It just feels like a staple that everybody should have. It's definitely oversized on me. I don't know if it's like too oversized. Let me show you. I figured I would get it and I can return it if I decide I don't want it when I try on my stuff, but I just needed to get it. Okay, this is the coat. Are these fake pockets? Oh my god, that's such... That's such shit. Wait, why? Why would you be fake? I'm gonna have to look into that. Anyways, here it is. What do we think from all angles? Actually, by the time this is live, I will have either chosen to bring it or not. I don't know. I'm kind of swimming in it, but it's, mm, is it cool though? I don't know. Anyways, look at the pile I have downstairs of stuff. We have a lot to go through. Lots of clothes here in this pile. I can't even believe this. Also, I tried on the coat and looked in the mirror and I don't think I like it. This one my mom gave me. She gave me this the other day. I think this is definitely better. More slimming, although I'm going to try the coat back on with a different outfit because I just don't think it works with this. We'll give it another shot and we'll see. Okay, here are those trousers, the wide leg. I think I love them and I actually think that I'll wear them like legitimately versus just like saying I'll wear them. I love them. I feel like they're kind of great with so many different things and they're so comfy. Like they're so flowy, nice and stretchy at the waist. But I've also started to panic. So I'm gonna have a glass of wine. Oh, I'm gonna make a peach fizzy wine. Peach fuzz, I think. From Konzelman Winery. They sent me these two bottles, which I did have with Carter, Jill, and Matthew. So that's why they're running low. But they sent me their peach wine and also their sparkling Riesling. Put them together and it's like a peach fuzz, that's what they call it. So Let's do that. And then we will discuss why I am panicking. Oh God. It's not like new news, but I tend to stress myself out over things. I don't know how much of each to do. I wish that I could go into detail here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yummy. I know no matter what, me doing this trip, I'm gonna come out ahead because one, I will have cool experiences. Two, I will have tried something, whether or not said something works out. Three, I get to go on an amazing trip. I'm so excited. I just try to think about my future self here thinking like, yeah, you know what? I did that. I was spontaneous and I, I did something crazy. I don't, I don't know. And I know I'm being very broad and I'm so sorry. You know, like everyone's making their guesses on what's going on and everything. But like the reality of what I'm doing is so much, there's so much more to this story than like, I'm going away with a guy like that. There's so much more to it. When I booked my flight, I'm like, oh, this is, this is great. But now I'm like, holy fuck, I'm not, I actually have to do this. I'm doing this now for so long. I'm always preaching like, live your life, go do something crazy. If you wanna change something, if you wanna do something, just do it, you know, like if you can, if you have the means, do it. And I think it's time I, I fucking do that. I gotta listen to myself. I mean, obviously I moved back here. That was pretty big, that was pretty bold, but this is another like kind of just bold thing that I'm doing. I'm happy I'm doing it despite being stressed. I think it's gonna be great no matter what. I'm just rambling, I'm talking to myself. I'm talking myself down right now. That's what I'm doing and you guys are getting to sit on the other end. Hopefully some of you have a glass of wine. If you do, let me know on Instagram or somewhere in the comments. Uh, I gotta get back to the outfits. This is the only one that I've done. Same pants, but we have a turtleneck, 
I love this. I love this. I love this. I want to try and bring pieces that I can wear with like multiple different pants and like things like that. Like get to rewear. So definitely, this is a cute one. Love it. I think with this jacket. Oh, I'm so sophisticated. <laughs> cute. I think it's cute. Or I have this vest. I'm thinking no, but I do really like the vest and I'm definitely going to bring it. But I don't think with this outfit. Oh, that's not horrible. How about a blazer? No, no, I hate the blazer. Maybe I should dress like this more. I actually like the way that I feel when look at this. And usually I don't feel that with anything except for my jeans. Do I do this jacket? This is definitely a yes. This is my new one from Revolve and I'm in love. And then I can also wear this exact outfit with this jacket. And that's a different look. So that's two outfits right there and I've barely done anything. That's good. Okay, I don't know if, I think I kind of like this with the turtleneck. Can't decide. I have the matching little tank. Maybe I should try that on. Oh, it's starting to get dark and fast, which means I may have to pick this up tomorrow, but I don't know about the beret. I think it looks stupid as fuck. So let's just take that off. But the rest is cute. I definitely wear this with like my jeans, but I like the brown leather pants. It goes really nice with the brown and the sweater, which is why the beret would have looked cute because then it all ties together. But I just don't think I'm going to end up wearing it. This is super cute. I might be cold. I did buy the matching blazer if you watched the vlog where I got this. Let me try it on. Like, okay, it's not horrible. I just think the blazer is just far too big. Maybe it's made that way. I don't know. I, why am I not hating it right now? But the pop of green, like what have I ever worn this color ever? Like look, you can see all the, like this is way too big for me. I definitely like this. This is a win. This works, black boots. Oh, this is cute. Can you see? I feel like a Scooby-Doo character. I'm not sure. Is it Vel- No, it's not Velma because she wears orange. And Daphne wears purple. I'm not sure what, I, what I'm getting that from. But I like the little outfit. Let me take the coat off. Oh, actually, I do have a black blazer. Wait, this is so cute. My mom gave me these boots to bring. They are so cute with like the little bows back here. If you can see it. I love this. I might freeze, but at least I'll look cute. Okay, found the black blazer. Again, I really wish you guys could give me feedback before I go. I think I'll bring the blazer, but I also tried it on with the leather jacket and it kind of looks awesome. <laughs> this top is kind of crazy, but I really think I'm gonna bring it. It's, oh, it's really weird, isn't it? <sighs> Not with the boots, just FYI, I just haven't taken them off. It's definitely kind of fucking weird. But do I like it with like a little pearl headband, maybe for a day at the Louvre? Okay, we're gonna have to revisit this in the morning. It's just too dark. And I wanna be able to like see the outfits in the pictures. So we're gonna wake up nice and early tomorrow and get back to it. I'm obviously now in comfy clothes. We're gonna head up and do some editing. I honestly just can't believe how fast this day went. It's 7.30, 7.30. I have until 5 p.m. tomorrow. So I'm trying to keep that in mind that I have lots and lots of time tomorrow and not to stress myself out tonight. <sighs> Yeah. Also, I do think I am going to vlog my first day in London. I wasn't planning on vlogging at all, but I'm actually gonna be solo for the first day that I'm in, like the first full Thursday. Flight lands at like 8.30 a.m., so I'll probably get to my hotel around 10.30. I think it'll be really fun, like a full solo day in London. And like, I don't, I've never really been on a solo trip ever. So I'm excited. I'm just going to do a full solo day exploring by myself. And I really want to bring you guys along for that. I think that'd be really fun. And then, I don't know, I guess we're going to take it day by day. I don't plan on vlogging, but I also know myself and I love vlogging. I love it. I love what I do. I'm like so lucky to genuinely love what I do for a living. In my head, I'm like, ah, I should take some time off. Like once in a while, I should like live in the moment, but I love what I do. So I don't know. We'll take it day by day, but for the most part, I'm gonna try not to vlog. of Jill and I right now. I'm editing our KFC haul. I feel like we must come across so high. Hilariously enough, dead sober. We just love weird combinations of food. We love food. I'm just laughing at us because we are fools. Like Jill and I together are a different level of like ridiculous. Watching this, like this is how I am inside truly, but when Jill and I are together, it comes out times 10 and it's funny to watch back. It's just it's funny, like we're like little kids dying over our KFC haul. It was a great time, I have no regrets, but I'm just laughing watching it. That was a good night. Wow, that was only two nights ago. Okay, I've 
almost finished editing the vlog I wanted to finish, which is great. It's 8.15. I might start on this one too, just to get ahead of it. But I wanted to actually end this vlog with a bit of a Q&A. I asked on Instagram if you guys had any questions, and I figured I would answer some of them at the end of this vlog before I leave tomorrow. Like, the next vlog is going to be my travel vlog to London, England. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going there! I know I'm going, but I cannot believe it. Like, I cannot. I'm going to be in London, England. I have not at all wrapped my head around it. Like, I haven't been on a trip like that in a very, very long time. So I just, I can't believe it. Anyways, we're gonna answer these questions. Okay, we will start off with, are you sad to be missing Halloween in LA like you planned in the beginning? It's like a little bit, yes. I love, I love Halloween Horror Nights and there's gonna be so many fun parties in LA that I am missing and I am sad about that. But at the same time, I really cannot be sad at all because I'm gonna be in Europe traveling. Like that is a dream come true. And like there will always be a Halloween next year. So I'm not really sad, but I am a little sad. Like I, I could have done it obviously, but I, I, picked, a, I picked the Europe trip. <laughs> will you spend January in LA? I probably won't, but I think I will likely spend a good chunk of February and maybe March in LA. So. Is it hard deciding what things to keep personal and what you want to share? Yes. Yes, a million times yes, especially because I've never really kept anything personal. I don't keep anything to myself. Look, I just, I always share all of my thoughts with the vlog, with you guys. And since moving back here, I've just been trying to be more mindful of that and like figure out the balance of how to have a personal life that isn't intertwined with my work even though my work is my or my life is my work like it's really strange it's a very weird mental game when your work is your life and your life is your work like it's just the exact like my life literally is my job and you know people think oh that's an easy job but like the mental part of it is really hard like it's hard to figure out who you are as a human what people are telling you their perspectives of you as a human from the 10 minutes that they see I don't know it's a whole thing but I'm trying to be more mindful and more balanced with that. I am hoping this trip gives me a bit of clarity, like just a step back so I can evaluate my life because I feel like it's hard to evaluate or even grow when you're filming everything you do and people are commenting on it and judging it and discussing it and sharing all their opinions. Like I have the opinions of thousands of people in my head with every decision that I do. And like, what are people gonna say about this? And very grateful for my job. I don't even need to go into that. I feel like most of you know that. I love you guys so much, but it's still a weird mental game. It's, it's odd. Now that you've showed Jill a bit of the city, do you think she liked it enough to move? So I know people like bombard Jill with the moving questions. And I, I kind of feel bad because, you know, I can talk to her and I can like make these jokes with her about moving and she knows it's not super serious i'll support anything she does but it's like not an easy move where she can just like pick up and move her entire life which in itself is a really big deal you know she'd have to immigrate to canada like it's a really really big deal so i would never put that pressure on her at all i think she really enjoyed her time here at least i hope she did but i can't I can't answer that, you know? That's something she's gonna decide with her partner, Connor. That's, you know, something that they have to figure out. I don't foresee any like, you know, really quick moves here because of this trip. And that, you know, makes 100% sense. So, you know, we're all gonna wait and see together what they decide to do, which I think is really cool and exciting. Do you like the LA house or the Toronto house better? I actually, I was thinking about this earlier today. I don't really compare them. Like, I love this house, but I also love my LA house. I feel like they're very different vibes and I don't think I could pick. Like, I think this one, is nicer but i love the feelings that i have in my la home like thinking about it makes me feel warm i love that house lots of these questions i've actually gotten these questions for a long time so i'm excited that i'm gonna answer it what happened to the guy from calgary so a lot of people assumed that i was going on this trip with the calgary guy or i was going to calgary to go see him we actually spoke for quite a while we did lots and lots of facetimes and dinners and stuff like that through facetime and drinks like it was so fun he's the nicest guy like legit probably top three nicest people i've ever met ever such a sweet kind soul i just didn't want to do the long distance i didn't want to do it we had talked about a lot of things like he even there was contemplation of him moving to toronto but i was like that's that's crazy like i can't have you pick up your whole life for us to date you know like that was just that was a lot and it stressed me out because I don't want to be the reason why somebody moves across the country but seriously he is the nicest guy in the world and I'm so glad I met him. What do your parents do for a living? I keep asking but never an answer. I've actually answered it a lot of times that's why sometimes I don't answer them again. My parents are retired my mom worked as a teacher but then when my brother and I came along she was a stay-at-home mom took care of us. My dad worked in business for many years but he retired like almost 
maybe 10 years ago now. Crazy to think about. Yeah, probably 10 years ago. My dad's done a bit of consulting since then, but now he just looks for any project he can take and he is grateful for the project. <laughs> okay, last question I'm gonna answer is now that you've done two, would you do a reno on your next home? So kind of a weird answer because I think I know what my next home is gonna be, <laughs> which is really weird because I obviously just moved in here. It's not even finished, but I'm fairly confident I know where I'm going to live next. We'll discuss that at a later time, but if that is the case and that ends up working out the way that it most likely will, it'll be a complete new build. So we will tear down a house and start from scratch. So not just a reno, full new build, which would be very scary considering the stress that I felt with the decisions I had to make for this renovation. But I think we would do it differently. Like we would get obviously like an architect and like maybe designers, I don't know. We've learned a lot through doing this. I ran out of space, so that just means I gotta call it here. Basically, I think that was my answer. I think I answered it. Yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. <sighs> Tomorrow's gonna be a busy ass day. I'm gonna wake up at like, Maybe even 6.30 a.m., I don't know. That maybe that might make sense, actually. And then like lay in bed till seven, and that's, that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a long day. And then I got a nice long overnight flight with no Wi-Fi, I'm gonna just try to sleep if I can, fingers crossed. But I love you guys so, 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 so much. I am so grateful for you every single day. I cannot believe the life that I get to live and I get to share it with you guys, and you're just the best, and I don't know where I'd be without you. But yeah, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow for more packing, working, planning, stressing, and a nice travel day. And I will see you guys in the next one.